Warning, the following video contains explicit language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. What up everybody, it's your boy Random News and I hope you're having a happy Halloween and I hope you're ready to end it with some laughs. Because we know the goofies get extra spooky on Halloween night. So grab the fattest bunch you got, turn off the lights, and let's get ready for the Random News Halloween Special Part 5. But well, without further ado, let's get the show started off with a bang with everybody's favorite fraud, Queen Domain, and a story I like to call The Broken Witch. Okay, greetings, motherfuckers. And you can already tell by the look on her face that she ready to rip somebody off. <laughs> I said, I want to do a money meditation because it's been pulling on me, and I said the other day that um, I wanted to pull our energies together and call on our ancestors in a separate way we've not done yet. More like she wants to put her hands in all her pockets so she can get paid. <laughs> I got my oil, but this oil is my this is my blissful oil, but I mixed it with some Florida water. I already got her oil over that child I gave her. Like, a little oils. And something tells me by that statement, you don't want to be anywhere near that oil. <laughs> Yehuda says for me to write someone's name down and put on their financial freedom. And so when I do this work, I'm also going to do this work for you, ma'am. Those of you who don't know, Yehuda is the made up spirit lion that she prays to. And this one is for me. If you have ancestor money. <laughs> this bitch had ancestor money. I want you to put your name up on it. And I want you to write on their financial freedom coming from a woman who can't afford to change the battery in the smoke detector <laughs> so uh whether you have some oil and if you're eating you might want to stop for a second tears lotion, lotion sexual jizz if you've been holding on to some of your score some of your shh, from your six capites, you can use that as well. And what weirdo would be holding on to that? I swear out of everybody I cover, this woman is the most disgusting. Here is the secret. Um, your tears and your secretions from your sexual conquests is the most powerful things you can use. And the sad thing is, she'll get at least 20 people to do this stupid shit. <laughs> um, we're going to hold on to these here dollars and we're going to speak to it. We are going to put our hands up to the screen and we're going to speak and we're going to call out to the ancestors. We're going to do this here chant. Basically, they're going to play make-believe. After we do this, I'm going to hold up this money. And I want you to put your hand up to the screen and I want you to breathe it in. I hope they like the smell of bullshit because that's all they're going to be breathing in. <laughs> Right, we're gonna do a, a few things today, okay? We're not gonna just do one. We're gonna do a few of them. Breathe. Oh, that's the one. <laughs> You're looking at the face of a whole goofy. I am currency. It flows to me with abundance. I'm not even in need of it because I have it. And that that bitch goes lying again. We all know she broke as a joke. <laughs> We might hit that again in just a moment. I'm gonna hit this bell, okay? We wake up the finances. <laughs> the people that follow this bitch gotta be a bunch of dumbasses. All right, let's spray. Y'all got y'all oils? And if y'all wondering, yes, this nasty ass woman sells that shit. Gs, juices, Vaseline, 
Blue Star Grease. I don't give a shit. Why would she when she knows this is all a performance anyway? <laughs> okay. If you got some of Chaz's money oil, put Chaz's money oil on. If you got Quatita's blissful oil, put Quatita's blissful oil on. And I can only imagine the amount of diseases floating around in that oil. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to also spray my dollars for me and for Chanel Huffman, okay? Girl, let's bust these down. You hear me? Bust them down, Chanel. Oh, God. I'm sure that room smells absolutely disgusting at this point. Grandmother of the soul, we ask that you open up the floodgates of finances, financial freedom. We call out to our ancestors. I want you to reach into your bag of ancestors and whether you know them or not, known and unknown, call the names that you do know. And I want you to say to them, we are opening up the gates for you to come and release finances in our direction. And we want it to show up and we want to see it immediately. And what the dumbasses that follow her need to ask themselves is if this shit even worked. Why ain't this bitch a millionaire at this point? I'm going to put it up to the screen. I want you to look at it. I want you to breathe. I want you to call it into your existence. Every dollar that you see on this screen, I want you to say it belongs to you. I want you to put your hand up to it. I want you to breathe it in. I'm not even kidding. I want you to... I want you to call and say it's mine. More like she wants you to look like a fool. Hold it. Hold it. Feel it. <laughs> Man, our audience must be a bunch of jackasses if they can't see this as motion picture money. You know, by all the serial numbers being the exact same. Now, the queen likes to put grips on like this whenever she needs money because hotel rooms get expensive. And since she doesn't have a house and she lives out of them, she needs to grift as much as she possibly can. But things must be hard in the spirit realm. Because here lately, people ain't been donating and nobody's subscribing to her channel. And your girl's feeling the hurt. So she had to get a new grift. And this is going to probably blow some of y'all tops off. We got to talk about it. Family. People doing work on us. By work, she means another witch is casting a spell on her. <laughs> I have to expose this. Why? Because spirit told me to. If you bought products from our ex-friend, get rid of it. She's been doing work on everyone. You see, one of the gullible fools that decided to do business with the queen found out the queen was still in a product. And now that she's threatening to expose the queen for it, the queen has to find a way to demonize it to the rest of her subs. Bitch, you've been doing work on me, my team, my staff, my pockets. How the fuck y'all? How the fuck y'all? We didn't know this bitch was an industry witch. Something all her subs should be asking, seeing how this bitch claims she's a psychic. She been an industry witch this whole time. How the fuck we didn't know that? How the fuck we didn't see that? How the fuck we didn't see that? Yehuda must have been drinking that day and just forgot to tell her. <laughs> she's one of the best. They sent in the fucking best. And you think the spirit would have revealed who the head of the secret organization called they are? <laughs> if you... Or if you a witch and you doing work, you do work, I suggest you get this bitch. She's been doing work on us, our pockets. This bitch is broke because she doesn't have a job. The spirits have nothing to do with this. <laughs> Spirit has been telling me probably for a couple weeks that somebody's doing work on me. So the other day, you know, no matter what I've been doing, my pockets is like no money is coming to my, my pockets, no matter what I'm doing. Because most of the people are waking up to her bullshit. Okay, I am for real broke, okay? And I don't like to use that word, but if I'm using it, I want you to understand what I'm saying to you. She's saying that shit like it's something new. I've been telling you she's been broke since the first video I made on her. <laughs> and I have all these dates lined up and no money is coming to me. Like, I don't even have money for plane tickets to get to these places at this point. Um, so bitch, whatever you did, and it was, it was working. Your work was working, bitch, but my turn. My turn, my turn, bitch. Well, it just sounds to me like that money meditation ritual didn't work out too well. So she decided to go live and do a counter curse, you know, to get the money back in her pockets. <laughs> I just want you to know, because we're getting ready to send the energy back. And we're going to do it together. And it ain't going to be stopped. Can't be stopped. Because I'm already reaching down 
down, down to the underworld. Meaning she just reached out to a drug dealer for some more of those. Percocets. This is a bag full of Percocets, bitch. <laughs> so somebody sent me something to, to listen to, and I said, oh. Well, look at that. Let me play it for you. And for those of you who don't know, she can only do rituals when she plays trap music. <laughs> Yeah. Now I'm not gonna play that song due to copyright reasons, but as you can see, your girl just don't hear all hide up making a fool out of herself again. Because none of her rituals ever worked. She's done curse like ten people, including me. Nothing's ever happened. But the shit's entertaining anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at the face of a whole goofy. Every piece of energy you send. I send it back to you. May it show up to your doorstep like locusts. Well, at least whoever she cursing got a doorstep. Unlike the queen over here. <laughs> I send the demons to your children. I do not give a fuck. I send them to your children. May they have nightmares daily. And when you're a broke-ass, grown-ass woman out here cursing kids, then you know you're doing bad. <laughs> May the cancer return. Eat the flesh off the bone. Down to every organ. May it move swiftly with might from the get day through the spirit. May it find its way from the ethers to your home. <laughs> <laughs> Now, at this point, nobody was buying this community theater production she was putting on. And her pocket check kept getting broker and broker by the day. And she came online and had a fucking meltdown. Greetings to everybody that's been, been season after season trying to destroy me. Greetings to everybody who only can hope for the worst for me. They only can stand by and just watch shit fall apart. You know what I'm saying? Greetings to everybody. Sounds like somebody woke up on the wrong side of the coffin this morning. <laughs> I'm I'm tired. I'm tired. Y'all win. You win. I concede. You win. I'm canceling all events. Don't worry. She pulls his grips every time she's broke. She ain't canceling shit. <laughs> you win. You win. You win. You win. You do. I can't. I am so... Tired. She's tired. Don't feel bad. She's just playing the tired day for pay grift. They all do it when they get caught up. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. And I can't take it no more. I'm tired, y'all. I'm so tired. So fucking tired. See what I mean? Your girl just following in the playbook. They all come online and cry to try to gain sympathy whenever their fans catch them up in their fucking bullshit. Here it is. You want to see me fall? Here it is. I'm done. It's over. And as you can see, it's been over for this bitch a long time ago. <laughs> I'm struggling. I'm battling. Motherfuckers keep doing work against me and I'm returning to work and I see the work working. But what the fuck? Too bad the rest of our subs don't see the shit working because they all think she's a fraud now. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to cities. I, I'm, I'm giving away more tickets than people are purchasing. Because who wants to sit around listening to her live for two hours? <laughs> and my bank accounts are suffering. And I'm paying for trips to take, to come and help and do tours and groups. And I, it's not beneficial to me. I come out in the red every time. And again, that's why she's really on here crying. Because she's fucking broke. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm tired and I'm done. I swear it. I don't need a break. I need for people to stand the fuck up and they don't want to and now neither do I. Now neither do I. <laughs> Your girl is big bad. And she got even madder when she tried to call the other witch to confront her. Cause that shit did not work out in her favor. Check it out. I think you're 
She would actually have to have some type of powers to do that. <laughs> I don't answer pe petty bitches and pathetic bitches. I don't answer to that. And this is why the queen rarely goes live on anybody. Because they always make her look stupid. Because <laughs> you keep calling me, Buki. Stop blaming Malika and blame yourself. You're the reason why you broke bitch. Ain't nobody doing work on you. And trust, it didn't take a genius to figure that out. <laughs> you want people to worship goddamn us. How does she know, y'all? She be watching, don't she? She watches, doesn't she? And people think bullshit. And now you mad. She ain't just mad. She big mad. <laughs> Yeah, I was on some bullshit. I had y'all, uh, had y'all following me. I had y'all. I had y'all following somebody. She's doing work on me. That's why I can't wait. That's why I can't make no money. Bitch, you sound dumb. Well, at least people are waking up to the bullshit. Because I've been saying she sounds dumb since the first video. <laughs> Your mama sound dumb. You know, when she was dumb, when she didn't swallow, she didn't swallow that stranger's cum. She didn't swallow the stranger's cum, and she had you. That's why you don't know who your daddy is. But you don't know who your daddy is, now. But you don't know who your daddy is. But you don't know who your daddy is. But you don't know who your daddy is. And just like the rest of the Goofies, when they're confronted, instead of proving that they have these so-called powers, they just go on the attack. And judging by that comment, it looks like the queen is going to be broke in her foreseeable future. <laughs> Damn. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like your girl's about to put out another curse. Death to all of your children. Your nieces, your grandnieces, your kids, your grandbabies. <laughs> You're looking at one broken and broke witch. But I'm sure she'll be back in the future with some more grits. But for now, we gotta get to the next Goofy. Because this is gonna be a pretty long special. Now the next Goofy comes from the channel called Seriously Serious. And the story that I like to call the Goofy Ninja. Look man, I'm getting straight to the fucking point. But before I go on man. This video is not for people to like, subscribe, be a fan, a groupie, share it, none of that shit. I ain't not pit for all that. Now I've covered a lot of different goofies on this show, but this is the first time I covered a ninja. <laughs> but I'm gonna get straight to the point. Kanika Jenkins, which is not even her real name, I think her name Kiara, some shit like that, I forgot. Now, normally I would say you're looking at the face of a whole Goofy, but ninjas moved in stealth mode. <laughs> her real mother, her biological mom, who gave birth to her, sold her for a few thousand dollars, man. Sold her, man, to some type of pedophile. <laughs> what a dumbass. And normally I would say it was this pedophile right here, but we all know he don't got $2,000. <laughs> Real tough, man. That girl had a rough childhood, man. Real shit. So she was persuaded to... She was deceived. More like he was deceived by whoever told him this bullshit. To be involved in some type of organ harvesting criminal activity. That involved Antonia Evans. Understand? I understand he's been watching too many Chosen King videos. <laughs> Antonia Evans is the only innocent person out of that whole case, man. I'm sure she was since she had nothing to do with this case whatsoever and her name was just used for a scam. Even though Kanika ain't innocent, man, but what them niggas did to her in that fucking room, man, you raped them. How you rape a young black sister and you a black fucking man? And since Kanika was never raped to begin with, what black man is he talking about? <laughs> you Chicago niggas want you to really listen to you, man. Listen to these words I'm about to say to you, man. Right now, man. Real talk, man. Fuck BDs and fuck GDs, nigga. I really mean that shit, man. If he meant it, he wouldn't be saying it with a mask on. But who am I to question the way of the ninja? <laughs> you motherfuckers ain't doing shit to stop with these little kids and toddlers and babies from being kidnapped and sent to the Crown Plaza, man. Because we all know if somebody goes missing in Chicago, the first place they're going to take them is the Crown Plaza. <laughs> Mutilated, organ stolen and shit. Cremated and shit, man. 
so that's what the fuck they did to Kanika, man. And you would think his ninja skills would have helped him do some research, since her organs weren't taken and she wasn't cremated. <laughs> this dude is a fucking goofy. But if I was in that room, man, she would have never got raped, man. Roll up, man. Real talk, I stay with a seatbelt, nigga. Real shit, man. Read between your lines, nigga. Now, what ninja do you know that walks around using a gun? <laughs> man, I'm a soldier, nigga. Nigga, I've been, I've been raising morals, integrity, dignity, discipline, humbleness, and strength, nigga. And wisdom, nigga. And as soon as he said wisdom, you knew he was full of shit. <laughs> Miles, like, bend over, pull your pants down, and let the hotel manager and these crackers fuck you in your ass, nigga. What is up with these goofies and their sick fantasies? <laughs> that bitch Monifa, I don't trust her forever. I don't give a fuck where I'm at, nigga. I could be in Chicago, I'll be in California, out in Jupiter, Morris. I, I don't give a fuck where I'm running to Monifa at, nigga. I'm a, I'm a strangle that bitch, nigga. And this is why I always tell these goofies you shouldn't blame people for a murder when you have no proof of it. Because it breeds idiots like this to come online and threaten people. And if this moron were to do something to Monifa, you can blame this idiot for it. That Monifa not only set her up, but also was the one who killed her. And remember, this idiot said a ghost told him that shit happened. She was strangled by Monifa's bare hands. See, these goofies have no problem putting people's lives in danger with all that bullshit. I mean what I say, man. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I mean that shit, nigga. Long as that bitch alive, nigga, she got enemy, nigga. Real tough, and I know what the bitch look like, nigga. And I guess we can thank God that this dude just a clout chasing YouTube gangster, or Monifa might actually be in trouble. And I'm, I mean, and I travels the world, nigga. Lee that, nigga. I was just in Chicago, nigga. Me and the goons, nigga. Just riding around, nigga. Looking around, nigga. Analyzing shit, nigga. Real shit, nigga. Nigga, I get busy, nigga. So he gathered up a bunch of other dumbasses with the Chicago, rode around and did nothing, showing that he does not get busy. <laughs> Niggas need to tally up. Three, four thousand deep out there. Stop killing each other. Bum rush that fucking hotel. Burn that shit down. And you would think with all his ninja training, he could have just went to the Crown Plaza and took everybody out himself. <laughs> that bitch Teresa Martin ain't Kanika Jenkins' real mother. And Lenora ain't Kanika Jenkins' sister or Teresa Martin's daughter. This shit is crazy, man. This shit is crazy. This shit go deep to the higher ups, man. This Kanika Jenkins case, man. But I ain't even speaking about them motherfuckers. Cause there's no way we could converge and fucking win this war with them. You see the higher ups came and took out his whole clan back in the day. So now he's the only goofy left. <laughs> and these sick ass niggas gonna rape a 19 year old girl, man. And he laughed and then he beat her to death, man. Hotel manager and all, man. Just don't expect to see any evidence of that, or any evidence of his intelligence. But this crazy train got to keep on moving. So let's get to the next Goofy. <laughs> what a dumbass. Now we go from straight up Goofy to completely crazy. And we go and visit Chartese Wells in a story that I like to call The Evil Squatter. What's up, it's your girl Chartese. Um, I'm coming to warn my YouTube friends about YouTube. And if you know anything about this Goofy, you know she about to be on some bullshit. <laughs> if YouTube deletes my channel this time, please uh, go searching for me. And I'm sure you'll be able to find her at the local mental institution. <laughs> you know, because I want all my people to stay in tune about the Illuminati to let you guys know that the Illuminati is real. Trust, with the shit she's doing, she believes a lot of shit is real. And, you know, these demons, they spy and things like that throughout our communities or whatever, throughout our community or whatever. And by demons, she just means regular people walking around her neighborhood. <laughs> just, you know, sent me, um... A guideline community guideline strike through uh, YouTube stating that um, I violated the cons the harmful conspiracy theory um, act something this goofy does on a regular basis and as the video progresses he'll soon see why the people that own YouTube they're they're controlled by you know the Illuminati the elites wait till you hear her plan to fight against it <laughs> 
uh, I want to let you guys know that if YouTube delete my channel go back on YouTube I'm gonna keep starting YouTube uh, channels until you know the owners of YouTube are gonna even be destroyed yeah because she's gonna kill him with stupidity <laughs> These people are trying to stop the truth from getting out here. I mean, out here that, you know, these music artists and these people that are within our community belong to satanic cult. She must know about that from back when she was one of the lead rappers for Onyx. <laughs> YouTube, they're for protecting, uh, you know, demons and things like that. <laughs> Don't look at me. I told you she was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Don't get mad because, you know, we're exposing, uh, coats and things that youtube workers and also youtube owners you know are um they are down with it now if you think what you're hearing is crazy we haven't even scratched the surface yet you see chartiste is a special one and since she doesn't believe in obeying the law in any type of way she likes to go over and take over abandoned houses because since she considers herself a sovereign citizen she thinks she should be able to do whatever she wants and if you oppose her then you're automatically labeled a demon check it out What's up, it's your girl Chartiste. We're here to show you our um, our second adverse possession. It's our second possession because every time she gets caught squatting, she gets thrown out. A home that we have taken over. I'm going to get up for a minute. But, you know, with this home, I have to do foundation work. There's a big bump right here to let you know something's wrong with the foundation. Then I have to peel all this down. And then I have to clean all that yucky stuff down there up. Now clearly this house is condemned and she shouldn't be in it. And this is why she keeps getting thrown out of places. This is my second home too, by the way. You know, for motherfuckers that be talking shit. And by talking shit, she means people telling her to get a job and stop breaking the law. I had to get a different home because, you know, I decided to, um, you know, to me make a deal with the devil. And if all she got out of that deal with this house, the devil played her for a whole goofy. <laughs> And as you can see back here, we have drywall, uh, rot, you know what I'm saying? You got rot and mold in a place that you really shouldn't be living in. But if you guys want to get your free homes, this is what I'm telling you guys about can help you get a free home. This woman can't help you do anything. <laughs> You know, you guys spend all that damn money on rent. You know, why not buy my adverse possession kit, you know, that teach you how to, you know, fix up free home. <laughs> Her adverse possession kit. You'd be better off spending your money on Candace Starr's book. <laughs> I want to do this shower over and also as you can see the shower valve i'm gonna replace all that shit i'm gonna replace the um the vanity sink i'm gonna replace the mirror and i'm going to replace the toilet and i'm sure once the health department sees this video they're just gonna throw her ass out and get rid of the whole house <laughs> but that wouldn't be the end of her insanity what's up it's your girl Chartiste. we're here to talk about um the prices of eggs going on, I mean, going up. Yeah, you better roll up now because this shit is priceless. <laughs> you know, it used to be like $2.79 for a, a dozen of eggs. Now you're going to pay $5.79. Why? Trust me, no answer you can come up with would be as insane as hers. Because, you know, these store owners, you know, belong to secret societies. They are connected, you know, to the devil. <laughs> I told you, she's bad shit crazy. And I'm going to tell you how my um, light company have been giving me the runarounds and refusing like to uh, turn on my lights later. You actually have to rent or own a house to get the lights turned on, not live in a bando. But since we re are refusing to praise the devil and kneel down to praise him, he's raising uh, the food prices up. Too bad he's not raising her level of intelligence. <laughs> Yeah, so those of you that got don't got the seal of God, which is the seal of the seven, you know what I'm saying, and you are, um, some of you got the seal of the six, which means you are of the devil's child, you know what I'm talking about, but those of you are marked with the six, you're going to be killed, you know, you're going to be taken up out of here. And I really wouldn't take her words lightly, because this woman is seriously unstable. They have to go. They thought they, they were going to live among us, oppress us, you know, and uh, try to take us out of here being like snakes among us and that nothing was going to happen to them. And since she already tried to take out somebody in her neighborhood because she thought he was a demon, I would definitely watch myself around her. Yeah, too. I ain't scared of your ass. I hope you know. Yeah, bitch. I get out and beat the shit up out of you. 
It break your neck on everything. It kick your dog too. And the shit she's doing has to be strong as shit when she's mistaken elderly people walking their dogs for demons. These people belong to the um, to the devil, including these store owners too. You know, when I a uh, couple, uh, probably like six months ago, they were game stalking me bad. Every store I went to, even this employees were witches. <laughs> This bitch just said witches. That's just as bad as the time she thought Satanists were working at Home Depot. So I'm over here at the Home Depot and shit. You know how they be doing organized game stalking and shit? I come to get my paint, like, uh, from this place or whatever. And look, they keep giving me the wrong, the wrong paint. I'm like, this is not the color right here. So right now they throwing satanic rituals up in here. I need help over here. You guys gave me the wrong paint. And as you can see, we got Esau walking this way because he mad his time up. He didn't cause me to get the mark of the beast with that Jesus Christ shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what a nut job. Within the store, just like Trump, Donald Trump has said, you know, if there's a witch hunt. He was saying that as a figure of speech. He wasn't talking about hunting actual witches. <laughs> You know, but they were uh, doing witchcraft and things like that throughout the store. But um, anyways, all seven is no six is kick. Now, I know I've been clowning on this woman, but knowing what you know now, like the fact that she thinks anybody who's a demon or a witch should be killed. This next part of the story is pretty scary. Check it out. Yesterday, I want to talk to you guys about something. I should even be saying this on motherfucking camera, right? And that statement alone should tell you something's not right here. I'm sitting there looking for the girl. It's this girl that when I came to Chicago, you know what I'm saying, she pretty much told me to come here. Which I'm sure was the biggest mistake she ever made in her life. But when I started coming, she was like, oh, don't come here. I guess I don't know whether she thought that the Illuminati was going to kill me and stuff like that. And I'm sure the voices in her head told her that shit. But anyways, me and her had a relationship, right? But anyways, this girl disappeared. She been gone for like a long time too. It's been like two years and I don't know if they been, was trafficking this girl. I don't think this mysterious they did anything to this girl. I think we're looking at the culprit right now. You gonna say her name is Gabrielle, bro. Her name is Gabrielle Griggs. But I don't know if they been trapped her. But I be calling her phone like uh, randomly cause I be want to know like, damn, did they kill her? You know what I'm talking about? Cause she told me like what the fuck she was, like a witch and shit like that. And we all know what she said was gonna happen to people like that if she came across them. Some of you got the seal of the six, which mean you are of the devil's child. You know what I'm talking about? But those you are marked with the six, you're gonna be killed. You know, you're gonna be taken up out of here. And I'm starting to think we're in that type of situation right now. I, you know, I had a dream. You know what I'm saying? That me and her was holding hands, bro. I swear to God, like, had this dream. And she was like, oh, I was trying to tell you this within a dream. You know what I'm saying? But I keep calling and checking up on this, uh, th this, uh, person. You know what I'm saying? That initially, like, told me, like, to come to where I was. But I haven't seen her in, like, two years. Which is the same time Chartiste moved and disappeared from YouTube before she came back. I believe she was trafficked. I believe that they was trafficking her. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I didn't get the whole story or whatever, bro. I think they was maybe could be sex trafficking her or something like that. What, what, you, what do you guys think? I think the cops might want to go check some of these abandoned houses your girl's been living in over the last couple years. You know what I'm saying? I never really got on here and um, told you guys that that story. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, she did a whole bunch of shit to me too. And just like a goofy, I guess now she's about to tell us her motive. You know what I'm talking about? Like she done bust my windows out, all types of shit. And judging how crazy she is, I'm sure the girl was just trying to escape. <laughs> I done got cut by her. I done got motherfucking cut by her like Chucky. I swear to God, because the devil was like using her. And I believe that's why she don't want to come around me too, because the devil is going to have her run a ritual. Yeah, I'm sure this was the incident that led to this girl's disappearance. She's uh she's scared of the devil. That's the way I feel. You know what I'm saying? And if they wasn't around, maybe she would not have act like that. But she had told me like they had did some evil shit to her. And I'm coming out and telling telling y'all this, bro. It was like uh, I was going with her probably like two years ago. I still be looking for her ass. You know what I'm saying? And I have contacted her before, but uh last night I don't know who the fuck that was or whatever. But I start thinking crazy shit like, oh, you know they trafficking this. You know this girl you know what i'm talking about and by them she means the family of the girl and the cops and now her conscience is getting guilty and she's getting shook that i know and you can't call the police or nothing because see they they in on it too the police i'm just keeping shit real 
Nah, she ain't gonna call the police because they heard her tell this crazy ass story. She knows they're gonna lock her ass up. Look, she told me that she was born under this shit, bro. This is my first time coming out and telling y'all my business like that. And just like the guy that killed Tupac, she might have wanted to keep her mouth shut because this shit right here sounds real fucking suspect. Um, uh, without her, I probably wouldn't even got these blessings, these free homes and shit like that. I'm just keeping shit real. Although, <coughs> the devil had used her for bad. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if she dead or not, bro. Well, after hearing that shit, she just might be. And since your girl Chartiz only lives in abandoned houses and refuses to get a government ID of any kind, this sounds kind of shady. And this is going to be one of those stories that I got to look further into. But we're going to have to save that for another day. Because we got a lot of goofies to get to in this special. So let's move on to the next one. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. What up, everybody? It's your boy, Random News. And I got a quick public service announcement. You see, over the years, when it comes to the Kanika case, we've exposed a bunch of goofies and grifters. If I ever catch Random News in real life, I'm gonna beat the fuck out of that man. Hey, random news, won't you just come see me and, and get this face? I called the police because Random News is a bitch. He ain't nothing but a bitch. I'm gonna file a report uh, for being cyber harassed and bullied. Random news, you get the fuck off my page too. If I ever see you in public, I'm gonna smack the stupid off of your head. I guarantee you I will. You keep bringing your dumb motherfucking ass over here, random no news. Random news. Chill, bro. Please chill. See, Random, if you're going to continue with the uh, funny I, uh, emojis and all of this nefarious shit, I'm going to block your ass. And as you can see, we made a few fans over the years. But now, I'm about to bring you the ultimate goofy. Somebody that I like to call the Kanika King of YouTube. Payow, Jack. This Random News, he know what's going on with the case. He putting they ass on blast. And you better roll up about four blunts because we're about to put this goofy on full blast as we bring you the story of Trey Gang in the next episode of Cash with Kanika coming this November. <laughs> yeah, that episode is gonna be just as crazy as this next goofy. It comes from the channel Leave No Witness and the story I like to call Chasing Shadows. Now what I wanna do is show you guys how I do this thing, okay? And by this thing, he means make a complete fool out of himself. I'll take a video um, that I have, and I'll just drag it to this, you know. Uh-oh, looks like we got a shadow chaser on our hands. A male version of Beach Beauty. This should be fun. I'm showing y'all step by step, so because I had a few when it comes to... Man, I don't know, this is kind of fishy. This is weird looking. I think he could have... Maybe what was, what, it was like one person. Maybe he. Actually, I'm lying. Nobody said that. I'm making this. Shit. I'm making this shit up. So right off the back, you can already tell that you has no credibility whatsoever when you're just making shit up for nothing. But I, I'm. I feel like people be thinking that sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's ever said it, but I be thinking people be like thinking I be bullshit because of how crazy this shit comes out like more like he just knows he's a fraud and his conscience is just beating down on him I'm sh I want to show you guys how I do this from scratch you know just you know and also showed you guys that I, I I'm not lying when I say I have paperwork I'm not lying when I say I have all the footage I'm not lying on anything every time I ever tell you guys anything it's the truth, I'm not gonna lie. Now spark that blunt up, sit back and relax while we listen to this dumbass lie. <laughs> so, what I do is I put it in this, is, this is called Topaz Video Enhance AI. There's a lot of settings that you can do. I just like Beach Beauty, your boy's a dumbass who can't comprehend shit because he doesn't know what the software is used for. And if you wanna know what it's used for, you can check out this video right here because they do a great tutorial on how to use it step by step. But what this dumbass doesn't realize is that this software is only used to enhance a video. Meaning, it takes a blurry video and it can transform it to 4K. But this dumbass wants you to believe the software can show you secret images in any videotape. So let's watch how he makes a complete ass up himself. <laughs> and then I load it into here. And then once it's here, 
is when the fun starts. Because now I get to see what was enhanced. More like he's about to fuck up a video and see whatever the fuck he wants. <laughs> it's all dark. It's just, what is this? It's just dark, okay? They didn't expect somebody like me to come around and be able to just sit from my house and turn the lights on. <laughs> and by turning the lights on, he means just brighten it up and take it all out of focus and contrast. So there's somebody right here, y'all. See him? Look, he in a white shirt. Oh, he got a mask on, too. I could tell. It was clear your boy been hanging out with Cecil and Hetty snorting pills. Because that's the only way he's going to see the shit that he's going to claim he sees. From back here, it looks a lot different right here. This looks like somebody's face or something like an eye. And that's their forehead. And that person must be 10 feet tall if his head is hitting the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. See the door? See the trim around the door? There's like a door down there. And they're like forcing people to go down there, like taking people down there, like kids, I feel like, and people. And with the shit he's doing, I'm sure he's seeing all types of fucked up shit. <laughs> and this was ducked down. See, let's hit play. And watch how he fucks his whole narrative up by hitting play. And I believe there's some, oh shit. Let's go look at the other one. Yeah, he switched that shit off real quick. Because it went from a dude with a mask to nothing at all. That's why these goofies only use still images. Because that's the only way they can push their narrative. You could, you, you could tell that like they got some, some some weird stuff going on down here. And just look at the floor. Look, These look like more like slabs of like concrete. Slabs of concrete. Now clearly you would think these people would know how dumb they sound before they talk. But they don't. <laughs> if this is this, it really isn't her. I don't believe it's her. But I'm saying Rosemont wants us to think that this is her and all that. So I'm just proving Rosemont's a fucking liar. That's all. Some people said that's not even her on the video. You do believe it was your daughter on the video? Yes. Okay. Meaning your boy's completely full of shit. <laughs> because that looks nothing like Kanika at all. And since he done fucked the video up, it doesn't look like anything. What a fucking goofy. I bet you there's people everywhere that we just can't see. That is until he hits that pipe a few more times. And he's gonna start seeing all types of shit. <laughs> this thing here gives me the creeps. I don't know. It just looks like it's gonna jump out at somebody one time. I thought I feel like the wrong person. It's like it's just sitting there waiting for the right person to walk by. And they're just gonna jump on And him. when you think the emergency light is a creature that's gonna attack somebody, you know you're going full goofy. This looks like some, like, demonic, uh, entity or something. <laughs> Your boy out here making his own horror movie. Kanika had hair on top of all of her head, not half bald. Yeah, remember he said that stupid ass shit. Look like a baby. She carried a baby? I swear the case brings out the dumbest motherfuckers of all time. <laughs> I believe this. This place is so haunted by what they do at the bottom, at the bottom down there under the basement. Death don't expect him to tell you what they do in the bottom of the basement. <laughs> but it's not Kanika. I don't know who it is. Uh, unless it is her, and it, this is like somebody carrying her, like after she's been dead for a while. Well, we know for sure that this dude's been brain dead for a long time now. <laughs> but look what they did with the picture in the car. Even though they weren't in the car, it was a freezer, I believe. They were in the freezer when that picture was taken, but they had photoshopped it to make it look like it was in the car. Regardless, they took a picture of a dead girl and tried to photoshop it and make it look like she was drunk. And you would definitely have to be drunk to believe any of this bullshit. <laughs> I wish I had a time machine, right? And just go back into time and grab her and kidnap her <laughs> and take her home and make sure she stays there until the night's over with <laughs> and then you know get back in my time machine time machine and go back home because <laughs> then maybe none of this would have happened well we should take that same time machine go back tell his younger self to stay in school so his older self doesn't come online to look like a whole goofy and you can see the hair like 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 a white person hair, a bald head, or something right there. And that right here kind of looked different, didn't it? I don't know. And now he just debunked himself. 
Can you see Kanika with a full head of hair? Not this bullshit. Kanika had hair on top of all of her head. Not half bald. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. See it like, boom, right there. See that shit? How the hell? Come on. Her arm is not even attached. Kind of what happens when you destroy the contrast, blur the picture, and then pause it while she's moving. But you, he wants you to think that she's really walking around with half an arm. <laughs> oh, and look at her leg. Who is that? Is that not the Chinese lady? Because it sure looks like it to me. <laughs> Chinese lady. This dude's high as a fucking kite. <laughs> um, I've been trying to figure out what this thing is forever. I feel like it's like some nest of some kind of egg or something of some kind of species. And I'm sure the species is from planet Goofy, where your boy resides. And trust me, this dude's so crazy, we got a whole episode coming on him soon. But for right now, we got a lot more Goofies to get to. So let's move on to the next one. Now this next story comes from Nia Exposing Truth. And this is her and a group of Goofies in a clubhouse meeting. And a story that I like to call Nia's Crack House. Y'all know what we need to do? That date, the ritual date, which is either it's either the 6th or the 9th. We need to look up the significance of that date and what else the fuck happened on the date because it's a ritual. Uh, <laughs> the, the girl just told us that they had an event at the Crown Plaza that so, night. Yeah, yeah, you're going to need about two blunts for all the stupidity about to happen in this video. I would never attend nothing like that. A murder mystery thing. I'm never doing that shit. Now, the conversation we walked in on is a bunch of goofies talking about a murder mystery game that happens at the Crown Plaza every year. But watch what they turn it into. Right. So the significance for um, September 9th is the ritual is it's a ritual and routine for the new moon. Uh, the sign of new beginnings, horrible endings, manifestation of portals, or well, portal activation, rituals for good luck, and new and new beginning of organ spleens. Basically, of organ, what? organ of spleen. What? Organ spleen. Wow. Basically. Oh. And by the sound effects, you know somebody's about to say something stupid. <laughs> like I, I absolutely know girls who burn candles and will like have like a bowl of blood and like create like a whole prayer for new beginnings. Uh, I know people that are sit up there and they'll buy like an actual liver and eat it raw. And I bet you're wondering why somebody would do that. Well, she got an answer for you. Just to bring in like um, a portal. She just said a portal and hopefully it sends them to the closest mental institution. <laughs> So it makes sense Great why you follow Selena Gomez so hard then, huh? Yeah, these goofy still think Selena Gomez killed Kanika. The 6th is the day that Selena was at the Crown Plaza. And wait till you hear where they're getting their information from. Certain things that little lady have told us. <laughs> That's right, people. You got a chat room full of people getting their information from a... Crack here, yo. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know this shit's about to be good. <laughs> You know what I love about her because she actually gave us a lot of insight on this case. And that goes to show you that some of the people in this room are dumber than Nia. <laughs> y'all don't believe everything y'all been hearing in this room. I've been listening for a minute. I heard a couple lies. Uh oh, the voice of reason. The goofy's only weakness. You know it's not gonna work out too good for your boy. <laughs> and I don't I don't give a shit about your subjective opinion about little lady. See what I mean? The Goofies would rather hear lies than the truth. I'm back, y'all. I'm back. The I'm what? Back. And you know shit's gonna get goofy when this crackhead's involved. <laughs> oh, this the question I have. Your daughter allegedly supposedly found dead in this freezer, right? So why your whole research team and all that? Why y'all out there twerking in the hallway? Make that make sense. Yet another conspiracy a girl came up with after taking a bump. <laughs> God. They twerking in the hallway. Who? Twerking in the motherfucker in the, in the, in the, in the twerking, twerking. At the hotel that night in the hallway. Yeah. And you know you gotta be on crack when you think the first thing somebody gonna do when they find out their daughter died is start twerking in the hallway. They beat the shit out of that girl. They drugged her. They raped her. They raped her. Why did they do that to her? Her own friends, you know? Honey, I, that don't make any sense. Well, it makes perfect sense when you just finished a whole eight ball of Coke. 
Hold on, wait. I got, hold on, I missed it. What happened? They say you left when, when her brother came in the room. What happened with that? Apparently, your girl got called out by one of Kanika's family members in the clubhouse chat. That wasn't no brother. That was the cousin. His but, name was. But, but watch it. Why you uh, eat? Or like he was debunking the the everything. You want me tell you why I left the room? She left the room because whenever she getting debunked, she runs away like a coward because she knows she's full of shit. Want me tell you why I left the room? Yes, because please. at the end of the day, just like Lord sat here, they're going to sit here and keep lying to you that these people are going to make you believe what they want you to believe instead of the truth. And now she's just describing what she does because she hasn't told the truth once. I watched the same amount of footage as she did. But now you tell us what's going Trey on then. And Trey Gang. Nah, I ain't telling y'all what's going on. Okay, first off, I want to be, I be first to say that a lot of people don't believe what Trey Gang got to say. A lot That's of people cool. don't. Trey I watch all the videos. Why all I'm saying is. And now she's putting Trey Gang at the hotel. This woman is a fucking fraud. Also, not only have I been doing my research, but I also have sources that was at that party. And you would have to be on coke to believe that bullshit. The murder mystery. After after she kept saying that, I started thinking. And please, if you haven't, go watch um, Justin Bieber video, Yummy. Because it starts off with him walking, like Kanika was walking, and it looks just like the Rosemont kitchen. See what I mean? Enough drugs to make you believe anything. And then he goes into a room where they're, where they're actually having something like a murder mystery party. And since these goofies are trying to pin a girl's death on a dinner theater performance, you know they're going for a goofy. Kanika Jenkins was supposed to be the murder mystery that night. Spoken like a true dumbass. <laughs> You got, can I see proof, please? I'm gonna need y'all to listen. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. I'm screen. sorry. Lady been in this room for damn near five hours, three hours. We need to stop saying I need proof. I need proof. If she was bullshit, she would have been left. Let's stop with the proof shit. That's right, people. Stop asking these frauds to prove what they said. Just take their word for it. <laughs> People to keep saying that's her walking them halls and keep believing Teresa talking about that's my baby when she know damn well that's not her daughter. How you gonna tell somebody who they fucking daughter is though? How you gonna tell somebody? I've been listening to your again, lies just like oh, my You have no fact or anything that you're saying. Uh oh, looks like somebody else is trying to fuck me a story up. This should be good. Everything that you have told these people is lies. You lying on a nice girl, dead girl. Why you got her picture up on your fucking profile? That's not you her fucking daughter. Stop fucking lying to y'all. People said that's not even her on the video. You do believe it was your daughter on the video? Yes. Okay. And now we cleared that up. Let's get back to the shit show. <laughs> I don't need to clout chase. Again, people think it's only 36 hours of footage, and it's not. It's 72 hours. And if you're wondering why you never seen it, it's because she only saw it when she was on a 24-hour crack binge. <laughs> you're just not going to find the other 36 unless you really, really, really dig for it. And that's what I've been doing. The only thing this bitch has been doing is snorting coke and making up lies. <laughs> Y'all said um, she was laughing with her sister on a video about being rich first of all the the video was so old it wasn't two days after kanika died y'all lied about that too y'all said kanika organs were missing kanika's organs wasn't missing and you already know she gonna get kicked off the panel she's speaking too many facts <laughs> the guy that kept saying show me receipts and the woman saying she ain't got no receipts she's got facts so can we see something if y'all gonna claim this woman murdered her daughter spoiler alert you're not gonna see any facts at all <laughs> Uh, one of the biggest people who's investigated this case, and that's Mr. Jedediah Brown. He is on stage. So now we got Jedediah versus Nia. This seems more like Christmas than Halloween. <laughs> the information that the young lady was saying, some of the information that I've heard before, but I would say to her, um, you should really check your sources. And that's coming from one of the biggest frauds on this case. Because sometimes people's agendas or their need for entertainment or their own misery would also help create distractions to the case. And that's it. And trust, Jedediah knows all about distractions. <laughs> so everybody who has your dark web information, your, con your conspiracy theory information, go to court. You'll get your real information. Something he should have did at the start of the case before he spread all the far shit he did. I have shown a track to be impulsive and react on what I think is truth and bullshit. I have not one time ever said that there was a fake Kanika or two Kanikas. Where the hell did that come from? That came from a bunch of goofies all hired up on. Percocets. This is a bag full of Percocets, bitch. 
Why is she sliding on the wall? Did nobody peek the fact that this person cheesed, cheesed in the camera and then went back to playing drunk again? By that statement, we all know who the drunk here is. <laughs> I drink on white Hennessy, imported. Bitch from Spain. Today, you if you watch all of it, you're still lying. missing 36 hours. Patient. Stop fucking lying. Listen, I'm not hey, fucking mute lying. Up, I ain't got to fucking lie. My story mute ain't up. changed not one time, nigga. <laughs> this bitch is big mad, and this shit is getting heated. I really think I'm you need crazy. to take medication, because I think there's something really wrong with you. Like, well, you you really wow. sick. You know what? Oh, At the end of the day, like mental health I, is I'm real. I'm done. You I'm need to done. Take care but of I'm writing it. No, 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 uh, ma'am. I'm writing the lady. I wasn't having I this problem. Question. Looks like this crackhead story is breaking down. The young lady who you say that is replaced, that is re they replaced her, her with. It's who you say is walk. You feel like she's the one that's walking in the videos, right? No, she's not the one walking in the videos. There's three different people that play. What? One being a tranny. <laughs> you looking at the face of a whole goofy. What? Wait, what? this way, huh? They yeah. they play. Two different people play that baby at night. Okay, why why such an elaborate reenactment? I, I don't know. Ask them. They still haven't told anybody who they are. <laughs> Why did little lady leave? Yeah, can I ask little lady a question without getting Because shot? bullshit does not stand up to facts and people get quiet. And right. that's what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. And your boy Jedi died and was all about spitting a bunch of bullshit with no facts. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people didn't have a lot of point to their life. And this thing became national and worldwide so fast that they tacked on to it. And when they felt like it was shrinking, they just started doing shit. And if you want to see Jedediah do that, just go check out my Jedediah playlist. <laughs> and so now my request, little lady, because I asked you a very specific question that I did not get an answer that was compelling enough to even hold on past this conversation. It, it actually turned into more questions because you don't have conclusive answers. I would ask. You don't you know exactly sit. what I have. I actually I, have. Again, you I've ain't been gave it yet, baby. And when you're getting clowned out by Jedediah, you know you're doing bad. Now the videos that you have, what did those source? What are what do those videos come from? Do you all know that people are taking those videos? It's coming from the well? other set. It's coming from the other thirty-six hours of footage. Footage that only exists in her head. <laughs> If I'm lying, prove I'm lying. Show me proof I'm lying. I caught you in so many lies, lady. Are you serious? How you catch me Bro, saying that ain't been... catching me? Show me proof. Why do you have to show? Like y'all just asked me to show y'all proof. Say... Show me proof. You the one lying on my people. Why are you? How am I lying? Show me proof I'm lying you on your people. people. Lady, on you. Can, can we bring up what she said earlier when she, um just to play devil's advocate when she said that little Dirk and um, the other guy uh chief keith was in the room and they was doing that <laughs> really? no, yes, she, she says that little Dirk. you know what if everybody gonna just sit here and clown me then i will yeah we like not little Dirk and chief keith were down with all the kanika's death you know damn well that came from the mouth of a crackhead, y'all. Apparently, there was an annual celebrity manhunt type of event going on that night. Can you confirm or deny that? I can't. Well, little lady can. And if you can't tell, the dude that keeps defending her is on the same shit she's on. <laughs> yeah, is she saying that there was a such thing as, um, um, murder you mystery. know, like those death trains or those yep. murder missions? Train. And by the direction this conversation is going in, it's more like a crazy train. <laughs> you got to be careful with the information you get because some of that shit I actually took in this fact because I didn't have time to do the research. That's how I learned how to be more thorough because I just was going, going, going. I was saying shit just because it was said enough times. Like, okay, this is what happened. And this is the videos that was showing me. And then when I realized, God damn it, the stuff don't even, it don't even, it, when you do real so basic research a lot of that stuff is debunked so fast well at least he just validated everything i just said about him because i've been saying he's been making bullshit up since day one and i'm going to bring you part two of this video in the future because it's hilarious but we got way too many goofies so let's keep the show moving well you know it wouldn't be a halloween special without us ending it off with the queen of all frauds candace star and the story that i like to call grifting from the dark side okay, so i'm gonna do this live um, and I'm gonna answer your questions for Kanika Jenkins. So let me just explain because I see people being like, all oh, you do is Kanika Jenkins, wham, wham, wham. If you can't tell, your girl's mad because most of our audience is starting to catch on to the grift. And my thing is, I do polls. Whoever wins the poll is what I do. 
<coughs> so, can he go on the pole? Basically, she can only reach out to the spirit if the spirit's gonna get her a lot of views. I just want to know how Kanika is really doing if she's okay. All right, that's a cool question. Hold on. And here we go. The girl got to go into the trance of the goofy. She really should take acting classes if she's going to keep this bullshit up. Okay, so I feel like she's saying basically she is upset about a few different things, but for the most part, she is okay. I'm sure she's upset that this goofy's been using her name to pay her rent for the last seven years. <laughs> Was Irene forced to do that interview? She wasn't forced at all. Neither were the other people from the party that did the interview with Zach. But watch the conspiracy this bitch comes up with. I, I saw, okay, um, basically being under a wing, like, so that made me feel like ZTV was, he had her under his wing, okay, M meaning whatever he was involved with we already spoke about this whatever he was involved with she was involved with it with him and don't expect this fraud or the so-called spirit she's talking to to tell you what they were into i know she already told me a long time ago she haunts monifa and i just heard monifa again she definitely um haunts monifa her audience must be full of complete idiots if they believe any of this shit. <clears throat> is it true they ate her heart no Never mind, her audience is just as dumb as she is. <laughs> but they did take blood. Adrenochrome. And since the autopsy shows none of that happened, you're looking at the face of a whole goofy. Was Kanika and Zach ever involved romantically? Kanika automatically says, hell no. But he did have a big crush on her. And it wasn't like a, um, a boyfriend girlfriend crush. It was like an obsession because he wanted her like he had the other girls. If, if you understand what I mean. And the fact that this bitch is on here lying on the dead for views goes to show you how much of a piece of shit she is. Daddy's girl wants to know why all the lies are being thrown out there and yes, I can answer that. Yeah, probably because she's the source of most of the lies that ever came out on this case. Basically, <clears throat> what she's telling me is if we solve the case, if we know exactly what happened, <clears throat> excuse me, Nobody's gonna be able to do videos like they do now where they stay on the phone for five hours just talking about nothing And now she's just projecting because the only person I see going live for five hours and over is this goofy They'll have no more videos no more content. Do you understand? I think we all understand your girl's grift at this point <laughs> So people throw all these extra mixes in it so people have to figure out that, oh, nope, that was bullshit. Three months later, you find out it's bullshit. And basically, it's just to keep the story going because they have nothing better to do. Do you understand? Kind of like how when she makes a video, then I debunk it a couple months later, and then she comes back with a new story. And if you want to see me do all that to her, go check out the Candy Star playlist. Yes, Zach was at the party. It's already been proven Zach wasn't even in Chicago the night of the party. Is it true that Monifa and Shamaya were carrying Kanika down the stairs? There's no need for her to go into this goofy ass trance. The rumor was spread by Jeff 33 and the rest of the goofies. That's Kanika being carried up the hallway. You see her arms flopping? Watch. Flop, flop. And it would look that way when somebody manipulates the footage to make it look that way. But when you look at the actual footage, this is what happened. And as you can see, they're not carrying in anybody. Just like Candace isn't talking to any spirits. <laughs> I do feel like she was carried. Because she's a fucking dumbass who doesn't really talk to spirits. Okay, with the, with the, um, at the party. When they took her to the next room over, okay, and she was being art, okay? One, two separate autopsies show she wasn't raped. And two, there was only one room. The room they got two beds. Yeah. That's the room we had. Hold on, hold on. So let's clear this up. Well, people on social media saying like you, they was in another room. No, like it was not you. a suite. It was a little bitty room. Like with two beds, beds. A, with double beds. Double bed. Yeah, that type of suite. Four, four yeah, beds, bed. double beds. Yeah. So it wasn't on another room, or was people double. in a washroom? No. She passed out. I think she had like a seizure or something. She passed out. She never had a seizure at all, and none of that ever came up on an autopsy. They thought she died. Okay, so then they push her in a cart. And you can watch all 36 hours of that footage and you won't see one image of Kanika in a cart. They, they carry her, not carry her, but they bring her down with the help of the security guard. Just don't expect to see any evidence of that whatsoever. <laughs> 
and there's some type of small room I want to say like linen closet some type of cleaning closet some type of little closet and that's where they put her at first now if the look on her face don't tell you she's full of shit then you should ask yourself why didn't Kanika tell her this shit years ago why is she just telling her now daddy's girl said who was that little girl seen with the creepy dude and what was he doing I believe that was the question okay <clears throat> Now watch the story she comes up with for a regular ass dude that was just staying at the hotel that day. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that was a little. Whoa, that's sad. Hold on. Yeah, you gotta give her a second. She's still trying to get the lie straight in her head. This bitch is a fucking fraud. Was there more? Let me just scroll all the way down so you guys can answer this. I believe there's at least two to three children. Mm, it just spit. I'm sorry. She got so many lies built up, her mouth can't contain them all. <laughs> two to three children she's showing me. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure it's a side effect from all the drugs she's been doing before she went live. Going up to the suite. <sighs> don't cry, don't cry. Don't worry, she's not going to cry because she's not that good of an actress. This is just a distraction tactic, so she can come up with the rest of the story. Remember I said about if the case is solved, then they have nothing else to talk about, so they keep things going and going and going and going? Yeah, there you go. She means there she goes, talking about herself again. Because at this point, she done changed up this Kanika story at least a hundred times. Beyond a lot of weird things going on in that hotel, it's trafficking. It, it's, it's all kinds of trafficking not just one type of trafficking. And I would just like her to show proof of any type of trafficking. Okay, I remember it was a couple people walking with the kids and leaving them. Leaving them? It, it, they take them up to the suite. Remember I talked about the suite where BM is. And by BM, she means Bill Mary. Oh, okay, EJ, I see you now. I didn't see your comment before. Okay, hold on. Now while she going into a goofy trance, the commenter asked her the question about the phone call that TV got. People claimed it was Teresa Martin, but it was just another goofy from the Kanika community. No, everybody was like, oh, I think that was, um, Teresa called it. No, it wasn't Teresa. Had nothing to do with Teresa. It had everything to do with, um, I told you guys. Oh, do you guys not watch? See what I mean? She can't even remember what lie she told. That's why she just said that bullshit. <laughs> Zach was involved with. Hey, you can already tell by her face she can't wait to disrespect the dead. Adult women and underage women, if you get my drift. What I get is that she's out here trying to make a dead guy out to be a pedophile with no evidence whatsoever. This bitch is full of shit. Okay. Zach would bring these women to elite people, money, lots of money big people and she can't show you proof of any of these so-called people or any of these transactions going down this bitch is a fucking goofy these big people made deals with him and then they got spiraled out of control where they were always involved with some type of uh i'm trying to watch my words but um it was the elite people okay long story short it was the elite people had somebody call him and warn him more like it was a goofy ass youtuber who was exposed years ago for making that dumbass phone call but here your girl is on air. For all these extra mixes in it, so people have to figure out that, oh, nope, that was bullshit. <laughs> what I was shown was Zach made copies of the real tape, okay? He supposedly, when they deleted it. Just don't expect her to tell you who they are or who deleted it. He put it on a disc, okay? And gave the disc to the security to give to the proper people, um, the Empower ones. But. He also made a second one, and he had a second one, and that's what they were after. He thought, okay, with the second one, I could get leverage, and I can get out of this. But that's not what happened. And that story was brought to you by... Percocet! <laughs> and she's letting me know that she actually didn't die until they did the autopsy. That's when she passed. I really didn't think this bitch could get any dumber. Now she wants you to believe that Kanika died on the autopsy table. What a fucking jackass. I know there's a lot of new people coming on my channel and be like, ooh, this is so fake, wah, 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 right? But I've been doing this for five years and I have not only been doing Kanika Jenkins. Because she's a tragedy pimp who will make money off of any dead person she possibly can. If you don't believe in it, why are you here? <laughs> well, I'm here to laugh at this goofy and for the content. I don't know why anybody else watches her. <laughs> 
See, the thing is, again, these people are mad because it's being exposed, not them exposing me. It's being exposed that they are just trying to drag this out and drag it out and drag it out and talk about nothing for absolute hours upon hours because they have no life. They have no life. And if you can't tell by the long, awkward silence that this bitch is just talking about herself, just check out the timestamps in all these videos. You'll see she's the only bitch on here rambling on and on for hours about nothing. Man, I used to get so sad too when people make fun of me. Oh, Candace got her a blanket. It was just a nice gesture, Je gest gesture, okay? <laughs> I felt bad, she kept saying it. What am I supposed to do, you know? Yeah, so Candace decided to use her superpowers to travel to the afterlife and give Kanika a blanket. You're cold. I know, Kanika, baby. You didn't get the blankets I gave you last night? You didn't? I mean, there's nothing crazy about this at all, right? I gave you some blankets last night. Did Kanika meet King Vaughn? Yep. And if you think that's dumb, what do you hear what she says next? Pop Smoke. I just heard Pop Smoke. He said, that's mine. <laughs> and now you got a bunch of gangster rappers fighting over Kanika in the afterlife. You're looking at the face of a whole fucking Goofy. And we got a whole episode coming on this bitch soon. And with that, that's where we're going to end this year's special. I hope you guys had a good time. I hope you had a safe and happy Halloween. And if you want to support the channel, hit the cash app for your boy. And I'll catch you in the next year's Halloween special. Ever catch random news in real life? I'm going to beat the fuck out of that man. Hey, random news, won't you just come see me and, and get this face? I called the police because... Random news is a bitch. He ain't nothing but a bitch. I'm going to file a report uh, for being cyber harassed and bullied. Random news, you get the fuck off my page too.